farmers often ask whether they can combine their inoculant with uh, seed applied pesticides when they're um, sowing their legumes. In fact, this was a leading uh, issue when we did a survey a number of years ago that uh, farmers really wanted to know more about this topic. So we're doing some research on this at the University of Adelaide and uh, we're part way through that research. What we've found so far is that of the fungicides and the insecticide that we've tested, that uh, thyram is particularly toxic to the inoculant bacteria. So we haven't found any inoculant bacteria that uh, are not killed um, by thyram and also this goes to uh, pea pickle tea which contains thyram as an active ingredient plus Evershield which is almost the same as pea pickle tea. So um, thyram and pea pickle tea are the two seed applied pesticides to uh, watch for and we have some evidence from the lab and also from the field that um, the fungicides are quite toxic to the bacteria and can reduce nodulation substantially. So what we're suggesting is that farmers separate out the inoculant from the seed by putting either a granule in furrow or putting a liquid stream in furrow if they've got the capability of doing that, either a peat slurry or a, um, a suspension of the easy rise freeze dried bacteria. In 2018, we did a field trial on the Eyre Peninsula at the Minipa, in the Minipa region. And the treatments consisted of peas coated with fungicide, pea pickle tea, or not coated with pea pickle tea. Then we added a peat formulation of inoculant or a freeze dried formulation of inoculant called Easy Rise. And we put the inoculant on either 24 hours before sowing or one or two hours before sowing really the only treatment that gave us decent nodulation was peat with no fungicide. The other treatments just failed to deliver on nodulation and end fixation. In that field trial the fungicide was quite detrimental to nodulation. The other thing to note about that trial was that the conditions were really dry so we think that having that dry soil stress plus the pesticide stress on seed, the combination of that really affected the uh, nodulation and end fixation. If a farmer does really want to coat the seed after applying the fungicide, we've got a number of suggestions uh, as to how to cope with that stress. One is to double the number of bacteria, double the dose of bacteria on seed, so we get a better chance of good nodulation. And to sow as soon as possible after coating the inoculant because that will also lead to greater numbers surviving. Sow into moist soil if you possibly can as uh, ideal conditions and also finally go into a paddock where you've already grown that legume and had that inoculant before so you'll get a decent background to start with we hope. So that should minimise any problems of the toxicity.